Welcome to my lecture online. Let's take a closer look and list some of the things that statistics is used for. Well, first of all, it's used to understand a particular trait, condition, preference, habit, etc. of the whole population by studying a sample and preferably a representative sample of the population. So to understand what people's habits are, what their opinions are, what their what they're suffering from as far as disease and health and so forth, we want to be able to study a small sample that's hopefully representative of what's happening in the entire population. That's a big part of what we use statistics for. Secondly, we want to be able to uncover the cause of a problem or a situation. There's many things that are happening. We're not sure. We know why. We're not sure if it's really a problem. So what we do is we collect data, we classify it, we represent it in ways in which we can then look at it and then we do the interpretation, the inference, so that we can understand what the problem or the situation is that we're dealing with. We want to know the facts of the matter and that gets us to number three. It's determine the facts. It's to separate the facts from beliefs and opinion. Lots of us have beliefs, lots of us have opinions, but are they actually based on something real? What are the facts regarding the situation? And statistics is supposed to help us figure out what those facts are. And most importantly, perhaps, is to be able to uncover trends. We see what's happened in the past, we collect data for the past, and then we were able to project that data into the future. So we can plan for the future, so we can make uh, plans, we can save, we can build, we can do things to prepare for things that we think are going to happen, based upon uncovering the trends, which are then based upon collecting data and then analyzing the data, the data so that it gives us those trends for the future. And then finally, we want to use this as a guide in decision making for business, education, policy, interest, and so forth. That's kind of building a number four. But in order to figure out what we must do from a political perspective, from an educational perspective, from a transportation perspective, from policy making, from industry, schools, business, you name it, everybody needs to know what we should do. And that's usually based upon analyzing data of the trends and the past and the current situation so we can project that going forward. And just about everything in our daily lives in all respects depends on data, depends on analyzing the data, hence statistics, in order to help us figure out what we should do in the future. And that is why we need statistics.